I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to draw a butterfly. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be drawing a butterfly. The first thing I want you to do is draw a circle toward the left side of your paper and draw a second but slightly smaller circle that's a bit on an angle. And in the in each circle, draw one large circle and two smaller circles. And then you're going to simply color them in, or at least around them. Okay, so we're just going to color around those circles we drew, and though that's going to create two eyes for our butterfly. Next, from the farthest eye, you're going to draw a line down that sweeps around and up past the other eye. And then you're going to draw a little triangle or V shape in the corner. From the bottom, you're going to draw just a little parallel line underneath. We're going to draw two U shapes on the top of the head. We're going to do the first antenna first and we're going to draw a line that sweeps up and curls around and then we're going to draw a parallel line to that just like that and you're going to do a similar thing with the second antenna but because it's in the distance you can draw it a little bit smaller just like that okay I'm going to draw the remainder of the face, so I'm going to come up, touch that antenna, draw a line between each of them, and come down part of the way. Now I'm going to use some kind of rounded zigzag lines to draw the neck. And now I'm going to do some legs. So I'm just going to draw some sweeping, curving shapes for legs, and I'll do just one side for now. I'm going to draw the body, so I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to draw a line from the zigzag lines down to the first leg, draw a line between each leg. Okay, so then I'm going to draw a line that comes from my legs down to the corner um, of the page. Now, simply draw the rest of the body just like that. And now because there are legs in the back, we want to just draw little legs poking in from the other side. Great. Next, we're going to draw some curving zigzags down the body for some pattern on the butterfly. I'm also going to add some curving lines for more fuzzy texture. And now we're going to simply just draw the wings. So I'm going to move my page over so I have room for my hand here. And from the body, I'm going to go up, curve in, curve in, and draw kind of like a heart shape for the first wing or the first part of the wing. And the second part will look just very similar, okay? And now on the back side, we're gonna draw just another wing, which is the other side of the body, just peeking out, out in the back. I'm gonna draw a large heart shape in each section of the wings that we see on the front. And then now you can decorate your wings with different shapes, however you would like. Okay, 
I'm gonna leave this other wing back here blank because I really want the focus of the drawing to be on this wing here. And now to finish it up, we're gonna just draw part of a flower for our butterfly. I'm gonna draw the center of the flower. I'm just gonna drop what will appear to be parts of petals overlapping, but we are focusing on the butterfly. So because we're zoomed up so close to this guy, we're only gonna see just parts of these petals. And now we are ready to color. And you can color, of course, with anything that you want. Today I'm gonna to color with some wax crayons and I'm gonna do both my shading um, and just normal coloring with them. Okay, so start off by coloring your flower. I'm, drawing, I'm gonna color, sorry, the uh, petals here real quick. And then I'm gonna take a blue, I'm gonna color the center part of each flower. I'm gonna color the dots I added and the center part blue. And then I'm gonna color the rest with, what color is this? Brick red? Nah. Hmm. I kind of want a darker color there. Maybe I'll do it black. So it looks like some echinacea. Okay, so now we're going to uh, use this black and we're going to shade the petals. So I'm just going around those blue streaks for the center. So it looks like it has a shadow. And then I'm also going to shade where the petals overlap. And down the sides, just very gently. And also along there. Okay, so that will help that flower pop off the page a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna color the butterfly and you can color your butterfly however you want or you can follow along with the colors that I am using. Whatever makes you happy.
finally, before we finish our butterfly, we're gonna take a blue and we're just going to draw around the perimeter of those white circles to make that butterfly look extra cute. And now you are done your butterfly drawing. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.